it was quite intense in March and April when indeed we had to really push through to get closer to people and to be understood and accepted. And few people knew who we are, what we are, and most importantly, for whom and why we're doing what we're doing. And this vacuum eventually was filled with the worst possible interpretations. The political advisor of Ukraine, a delegation uh, meeting Ukrainian mayor of Kyiv, other authorities, to find out the ways, the paved these ways for humanitarian corridors, for to be able to send a truck with generator or some entry points, looking for the ways to make it uh, perhaps minimally safe. Every blog post, in a way, can be a negotiation. And at that moment, we had a blog post every kilometer. And you, sometimes you just need internal understanding why you are here and clear answer to the question, what are you doing, where are you going, and what for? So being aligned with your mission and purpose helps a lot, and it helped enormously well, after the wave of hatred, misinformation, disinformation about ICRC work in Ukraine. Actually, we were actively known and working in two regions, and then it becomes half a country, and uh, people don't know about us. Confusion between ICRC and IFRC with Russian Red Cross, then allegations as if we were uh, doing, uh, taking people uh, to Rostov, which is not absolutely not possible for ICRC. And I went to some of the interlocutors, which are intense, people, I told them that, uh, guys, I'm literally ready to sign with my blood on the wall that we were not doing such things. And they trusted me because they knew me for years. At such a moment of stress, you need someone you really trust to be able to denounce it. And it's not just a statement. It's person with a face with his or her skin in the game. Who cares who you are uh, in vacuum? People care about who you are for them, for their needs. And when you are able to be helpful and relevant, people are grateful. If you are not taking the space in defining who you are, what for, and for whom, that will be done by others. Uh, it should be prioritized because communication is security for the staff. We are not superheroes, and this, uh, Apron is not a Kevlar, and we don't even, uh, not that we don't have arms, but we don't have armor. And we are as safe as we are respected, accepted. The sense of trust and proximity uh, we build as human beings with other human beings. That's negotiations. Thank you.